Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at programming the tax rate on the SPS 300 series. Remember this series consists of the 320, the 340, and the 345. <clears throat> programming is done the same regardless of which model you have. So we're going to program the tax rate. Please keep in mind when you program a tax rate, that does not automatically mean your register is going to charge tax. You still have to program your POUs or departments to be taxable or non-taxable. This register series is capable of four tax rates, and believe it or not, there's many municipalities in the United States and Canada that charge three or four different tax rates, so this machine can handle those. And in Canada, it can handle the Canadian tax, where the uh, PST is taxable by the GST. Okay, so let's take a look at how we're going to do this. We're in the register mode right now, so we're going to use the key, and we're going to turn the key to the program position. It's a great machine because it is menu-driven, so if you look at the menu, sales tax is option number two. So all I'm going to do is press the two button here, and that takes us to this tax programming menu. You can see the very first thing it's asking us is tax number one through four, and its default is one. So I'm going to leave it at tax one and just press the enter key, which happens to be the cash key. Okay, So I'm going to press the cash key, and you'll notice the cursor has moved. It's down now to the tax type. We also could have changed the description. I just left it at tax one and skipped over that. So tax type is zero through two. It's explaining those choices right here. Zero is an add-on, which is what is typically used in the United States. One is a tax table. I'm not sure there's any municipality using a tax table any longer, so I would skip over that unless your Department of Revenue is telling you you have to use a tax table. And the second is VAT, which is value-added tax. It, that is common. We use it occasionally even in the United States uh, where your tax is included in the price, but you still want the register to tell you how much tax you've collected. But for the most part, it's always an add-on, which is zero. And if you look over here, zero happens to be the default. So again, I'm just going to press the cash key to accept that. Then it takes us to the next page, and it's asking you for the tax rate. So you can see here, tax rate, go across, it's zeros. See the little arrow there? That indicates that's the field we're in. So I'm going to set a tax rate of 8.5%. Okay, so I'm going to use my 10 pad here, okay, and I'm going to put in 8, 5, zero zero three zeros okay and I'm going to hit the cash button now <clears throat> I need to go back and confirm that I did in fact do that for eight and a half percent as you can see right now it went through the programming and I'm on tax rate number two I'm going to now enter one hit the cash button again and I'm back to tax one I'm going to scroll through those choices and take a look oh it's a good thing we did because as you can see I made a massive mistake and I did a tax rate of 85 percent so now we're going to enter eight five zero zero enter <clears throat> and I'm going to switch back to tax rate one so I can go confirm now you can see in tax rate one see the titles on the top tax rate is now 8.5 percent. Remember you don't use the decimal, it'll auto float the decimal and there's three decimal places. If that's all we had to do, we can just hit clear and get out of this or I'm going to hit enter and go to tax 2. And let's say for tax 2 I'm going to leave it, uh, the description is tax 2, you can see it's the cursor is in the description field right now, um, but uh, we're going to hit enter which is cash and go down to the tax type. We're also going to leave that at zero. And let's say the second tax is going to be 6%. So 6000 cash. And it is now set for 6%. Then I'm going to press the clear button and get out of our programming. And we're back to our main program screen and we're done. Hope that makes sense. Thanks a lot.